Thank you for joining us and welcome to our celebration and recognition of Black History Month. The theme of today's symposium is Equity in Libraries 2023 and Beyond, making a successful entry into the profession. So the, the talk today is going to be about inclusive workplaces. It's an inclusive workplace that's defined as a work environment that makes every, you see that I specified every employee feel valued while also acknowledging their differences on how these differences contribute to the organization's culture and outcomes. If you are providing an inclusive workplace, that means that the differences contribute to the organization's culture and outcomes. That means that somehow the organization will change a little bit. It is intentional work and you have to put effort into it in order to get the results. It really is. The panelists have been asked to talk specifically about what they have done to make sure that it is inclusive and welcoming. From the LIS point of view, um, about 12 years ago, uh, we went to a group, went in and did an INLS grant for A scholars. That's uh, academic, academic and cultural enrichment scholars. So we graduated approximately 50 people in those three cohorts with this IMLS funding that helps support their way through college in order to get diversity into the profession. You know, you can have action statements, um, but you actually need to really be intentional with measuring the outcomes that you do succession planning and recruitment. You have to challenge yourself. You have to challenge others. And sometimes, as a, as a land that Michael pointed out, it's not easy. It, it is conflict. We're doing surveys, we're assessment, we're doing assessments within our organization so that we know how to move forward. Just remember to look past the application. Um, what and, and remember the things that you've learned in your graduate program, right? What are the strategic plans of the school, right? What are some what are some of the things that they're doing? What is their mission? So it's always important to take that to an account when you're looking at whether those um the the job interest the jobs that you're interested in are supporting equity, diversity, and inclusion. And when you're doing so, um, you're able to see how you see yourself in the position. In the early 21st century, there weren't huge waves of changes in terms of how archivists approached the lens through which they determine items of importance. However, in recent years, there have been exciting and impactful changes there is a lot more collaboration and communication with the groups of color that these collections um, are intended. Remember what marginalized means. Marginalized means living, existing, and surviving in the margins of the story. Power lies with those who control the narrative. The goal of diversity, equity, and inclusion is to bring information and accomplishments of those who have existed into the mar in the margins into the main narrative and making them an essential part of the action. The progress of humanity is at stake. We all need to understand that it's all of our responsibility to make sure that our profession, that our libraries are welcoming and inclusive. <music>